Alright guys, Jamal here for TheUnlocker.com and today we're going to be um, going over a cool app that I found called Little Photo. So nowadays, you know, when you're looking to take photos, you don't really take them, you know, with a point and shoot camera. You know, now you do it with your smartphone. So, you know, now you have a lot of apps that are coming out that can kind of help you do some cool things with your smartphone uh, camera. Um, you know, things like effects, things like, um, you know, one button push um, photo snapping. So kind of all these cool things. And a great thing about this app is that it allows you to do some very cool things um, like that. You know, so it's not enough now to just have an 8 megapixel camera with dual LED flash, you know, once you get your pictures, you want to be able to do something with those photos. So this is where, you know, an app like Little Photo comes in. It allows you to add effects, it allows you to distort on it, you can color on it, you can do a lot of great things. It also actually has a dedicated camera app that allows you to take photos a little bit more easier than you would normally be able to do with the um, standard Android camera app. This allows you to um, click one button and you can easily do a timed photo which is you know very easy for you and your friends you're in the club you know just press that little button turn it to yourself or um, you can also use the volume button to take photos so for you know a lot of Android users who don't have that dedicated button if you're not a Droid X user you know this is for you so you know some of the highlights um, to look at with this app real quick is the first thing to notice um, of course is that you know it's a very simple UI um, you just have a couple buttons here down at the bottom. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and click this button here, and that's going to allow us to add some photos um, so that we can edit. So I'm just going to go in here real quick and just, you know, find a photo um, to edit real quick. Something that we all can enjoy. Okay, cool. So, you know, nice little car shot. So let's just quickly rotate that first. Cool. Um, so one thing to notice about this app also is that, you know, everything's kind of in portrait mode, which just allows you to do, you know, one hand operation, which is, you know, easy if you're on the go or something like that. Um, so you notice really quickly that you have um, all these options here, effect one, effect two, and tools. And basically these three um, options kind of allow you to do most of the things that you're going to do effects wise with this app. Um, and then you also have a button for rotate, which you saw me do. Um, save the photo and camera which would allow you to go back to the camera. So from a performance standpoint you know this app runs really well um, the menus load up really quickly you know if I hit this button right here for effect you know it pops up really quick the scrolling is very smooth very responsive um, additionally using some of the effects is very fast they render you know almost instantly so if I hit this effect for instant film right here you know, it shows up right away, and you know, and then I'm just switching, you know, you know, that's very easy. If I go back, add some other effects like this dream effect here, you know, it shows right away. All these effects render, you know, very easily and fast, and it's very nice and smooth. So one of the great things about this app is that, you know, there's a couple different things you can use it for. So, you know, in addition to all the cool effects, you can also, you know, easily share photos just by, you know, clicking um, on the menu button and then all of a sudden you can just quickly you know share and then you can share all these you know great photos with different effects to your friends um, you can also quickly save these photos which is nice um, you know obviously one of the better things is that you actually have access to the camera app and you could use their controls to use the um, volume buttons which we think that's very very unique because that just allows you to have some tactile feel to your pictures. You know, many times when you're in the club or you're on the go and you have to use your finger to try and, you know, hit the record button on a touch screen, that can be very difficult. But with this app, you know, this allows you to, you know, use some tactile buttons, which is the volume buttons. And you can use either button. It doesn't matter if it's volume up or down. So that's a nice, handy feature. Um, also, too, one of the better things about this app is that you know, you could do cool things like actually draw on it or add text. So, you know, if I just go in here.
you know, I could quickly, you know, type whatever I want. I could, you know, make the text a certain size. Switch the font. Let's do this cool font here that you can see. Save the settings. And then, you know, now you can see that text, you know, on that picture. You know, so if you wanted to quickly do a caption on a text, uh, on an image, this would be great. So all in all, this is a, you know, simple, nifty app that allows you, you know, quickly take photos with the, you know, a tactile button as well as add effects and share them with your friends. You know, that's kind of the definition of a good app. It's simple, easy to use, and you can do a lot with it. The best of all, it's free. Um, there is a, a plugin that's 99 cents on the Android market from the same developer that you can add to, you know, use even more effects in addition to the 70 plus that they already have but you know for the for the free price we think that you know all the features that this already has is more than enough um, to keep you busy for a while.